By definition, the meaning of National Nut Day is a national day created by Liberation Foods Company to encourage the public to choose healthier snack options. This is your day for nutty fun. But what is it to you and many others? A National Nut Day video has been a reoccurring video idea for the past like five years now. But I want to go back to the roots of this event, the, the roots of these videos, the day, the 22nd of October. I want to go back and see why it is so special to me. 2023, exactly one year ago, a video I uploaded titled The Most Insane Nut Game Ever. What an original video and great title. Why did no one view this? Like, what's the acorn? Where do I bring it? All the way back? That's not gonna be- I play a game about squirrels and planes attacking each other. What a thrilling experience. Just- Just look at that. A short but sweet video that's all about this- this intense GameCube-esque game. This was during my weird awkward phase of making videos where I didn't really know how to speak when talking. Oh. Oh, it's over. Okay. <coughs> I still really enjoyed this game. Um, in a four minute video, I showcased this low price, top down aerial shooter. This really was the game of all time. So glad I could experience PTSD with this one. For my National Nut Day video ranking, this is gonna be ranked in a B tier. It's a great video and can stand on its own. I I'll say that it's short, you know, and it doesn't provide much content other than like playing the first level. So there's that. Hashtag I love nuts. This video starts out very interesting as I inform everybody on nut facts. Did you know that walnuts are like really old? Who doesn't like that? But this whole video ended up just being a nut tier list and it doesn't really have much substance, whereas the video before had much more to say. This video goes in D tier. It's also ranked in D tier because nuts are just below the dip. Two videos this year in 2021, I uploaded both Taking Over Spore as a Nut and Five Games to Nut 2. These two videos pack a swift kick to the balls. Adding their combined runtime, we get a 20 minute video. We get a 20 minute video. I don't know why I'm squinting. I always look back at this Spore video as one of my favorites. You know, one, because I love National Nut Day and, and, and two, because it's just fucking Spore. One of my favorite games that I use to make. <clears throat> oh my God. And now that I think about it, this video was fire. And I'm probably gonna make more Spore content by just seeing this video again. But this was also another awkward video with my horrible narration. They danced around the campfire one last time before they set war on the pink tribe. I hadn't made a video like this before, so when I made it, you could tell most of the hype was actually just in the real-time footage rather than just being in the post-content narration. <laughs> I told you, they will kill! They will kill! A tier ranking. Five games to nut two. Already comes out of this video strong with such a captivating title. The intro stops off with Conquer, where he has nothing to do with the video, but he's here because he's a squirrel and squirrels like nuts. So, game one is actually a game I would love to revisit. This was like the early access version. It's called Nuts. Um, it has a full version. I think it's like $20 on Steam. And it's a stylistic game about finding where squirrels have hidden their nuts. I know there's like a deeper story in the full version, but I'm talking about the, the alpha, beta, whatever you want to call it, gameplay demo version. My headphones were breaking at this point, and for some reason, whenever I got hyped, I would just get quieter. No matter though, because this video was complete garbage. There was zero redeeming qualities about this other than nuts. So this gets a C, because at least it's trying something different. 2020 it is, with a tribute to nuts. I would say this video that you're watching is, is more of a tribute to nuts than any other video. This video is the most edited out of all the other ones, but it just 
wasn't it? It was all over the place with my god-awful voiceover and explanation of what nuts really are. At least we got the Jeff Goldblum birthday in there, but the rest of it is just bad. We gotta learn about nutting stones, which was awesome. This video gave an insight to all possible beginnings to different versions of the national holiday. Yet it forgot one thing, the video that brought this holiday to light. How to Nut, a video made in 2019. This video has a special place in my heart. Though it is one of the easiest bits of content that I've laid my greedy little fingers on, it has one of the biggest impacts on my personal life. I love to nut, and I just love to edge. As I mess up the words to an informational article about nuts, I inform everybody as to what nuts are and th their health benefits. But what's this? Did you know walnuts are like really old? It's the same speech as the 2022 video, hashtag I love nuts. Did you know that walnuts are like really old? That's right. A quarter of the video is just a remaster of the original debut video of to my first National Nut Day video. How to Nut has, for some reason, caused such an, a huge impact on my life. It's one of the reasons why I still make videos, honestly. It's also slightly the catalyst towards problems in my life. I lost friendships after this came out and I was weirdly jumped because of this video. Just when I was 13 years old, the day after this video came out, so the 23rd, a couple friends decided that they wanted to record themselves ganging up on me, and I knew it was gonna happen. They were texting me that same day, calling me a pussy for not meeting up, and I told them that if they really wanted me to come outside, come to my house and get me. They refused, and I quote, It would be more epic if I were to come outside to the cul-de-sac and meet them there. I gave the excuse to my parents that I was just going outside to walk my friend's dog to only come back crying. My own friends are recording themselves trashing me. My mom found out and went to their houses to confront their parents. Funny thing is that I'm still friends with all of them, Except for one, one that I've stated on the channel left a huge impact on me as a person. Um, it was a lot larger than this, but we ended up scrapping the idea and the person that uh, I was doing it with ended up not being someone that I could call a friend anymore. Everything that's happened over the years has for some reason happened in the month of October. But that's what makes me wonder what National Nut Day truly is. Is it a national holiday that's really about the food that grows from a plant? Or is it something more? Is it really about perseverance and never giving up? About the struggles of pushing and following your dreams? I, I do truly love this day. I also love fat nuts in my mouth, but who's to judge? What is National Nut Day to you? And if you become a member, you can get these videos early, along with emojis and a ton of other junk. Thank you to Vivid Dermetic for supporting me as the highest tier member. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one, which is actually Baldi's Basics. Ciao.